Guys, deluded, I'm back again. Now, Inter Milan has previously said, Screenia, we know how sick Screenia is of Inter Milan before. I got I got sidetracked quickly, but Screenia is sick. The ball playing, the defensive prospect, you saw what he was doing at his previous club, you've seen what he's doing at Inter Milan. In a day and age, no disrespect to um, Van Dyke, but 75 for Van Dyke. This guy is worth every penny if it was to be that, to be honest with you. He's young, he's 21, 22, and he's only going to get better. Now, Inter Milan have said they'll let him go for 80 million or more. Now, we take them on what they said, 80 million. Surely, if you bid 50, 60, some talks can be said. I'm not advocating to sell Mustafi, but on the basis they wanted to, they wanted Mustafi, some some talks can be can be held. I mean, like I was trying to say, like I said earlier, not to get on to, um, um, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. Van Dyke. I'm not getting at him. He's a good defender. But 75 for Van Dyke, he, he's, he can get better, but he's very much in his prime. This guy, is, 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 is only gonna, he's only going to get better. His best years are in front of him. For a team like Arsenal that insist on investing, this is the guy. 50, 55, 60, surely. It's worth every penny. Pay the money. Now we know. Don't get me wrong, people. We know this ain't happening. There's not a snow. A snowball has more chance of surviving in hell than Arsenal do of signing Scrinia. Not because the money's there. You see us for the rich list and them things there. One minute there's money, one minute there's not. But we're not transfer experts, so we don't know that. It's not going to happen. But surely you'd think... In a day and age where there's a lack of centre halves, where we're clearly not going to do the scouting thing. I mean, shout out to Millerstat, he's come now. If we're going to do the scouting thing and find a centre half that's competent, by all means, go and do that. Save money. But in a day and age where let's 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 be honest, clubs and Arsenal, let's be honest, have wasted money. I think Xhaka's a good player, but on the basis that we needed to show up on midfield, you paid 30, 40 million for him. He didn't bang. I think Mustafi's a decent centre half and he's got scope to be better and coached, but he spent forty five million for him. I'm on the on the topic before I get to get to get to that. If it's if it's sixty million, I swear that's what fifteen or so or, or more, couple more million for Screenio. He could be um he could be a madness. But yeah, back to Mustafi. It hasn't really happened. Twenty odd mil for Perez. I love Lacazette, but I mean, if we want to be harsh and go on what the critics are saying, 40, 40 odd, fifty odd, fifty two, whatever where you look at the transfer, the final transfer fee, he hasn't hit the height. So in a day and age where Arsenal have spunked money, despite despite the fact we complain about not spending, um, this is it. This is worth it. This is worth it. And in a day and age where it's ridiculous money being thrown around, he could be sold for more. You're seeing seventy five million centre halves. You could you're gonna see hundred and fifty soon. Do you think Pepe is gonna stop at Killian? Like, it's going to get mad soon and it's only going to get worse. He will get your investment. You get your investment back. Inter Milan want this. We can't get him. I'm surprised the big boys like Madrid, they need a centre-half really and truly long-term. Barca, the same. Um, PSG, because it's just PSG. Why is no one got bidding for my man? Like, everybody's talking about all these other centre-halves, especially the young French ones, and they're sick. But my man is just dead. Like, what's going on? Now, Arsenal can't get him for another reason on top of... We, we, it's just unrealistic. It's just not happening. I wanted us to sign Malcolm. The club has said they'll go back for Malcolm. That's another story. We don't need to go into details. If we were, considering we're not going to get Champions League, to spend 40 or 50-odd for Malcolm, I'm saying 55, 60 um, for, for Skinnyard. That's 100 plus. And, and when you consider that now, from, from last summer to January, we've spent over 100 on strikers. The club is going to tell us there's no money. The club has now sold players, so the net fee and all them things might look different, but they're going to tell you there's no money. Neither are going to happen, despite the fact that we're told we're going back for Malcolm. But I'm just giving you my own logic as to why it won't happen. It's just not going to happen, people, man. But yeah, man, they said they'll take 80 million. I personally believe you bid any club, not Arsenal. I mean, some any club. Some club that wants to use their common sense and wants a quality centre-half. Bid 50, 55, 60. You don't know what could happen. Even 65 is worth that. Go and do some deals, man. That's what get your Wenger mode on. But balance and that. But yeah, man. Guys, deluded Guna YouTubes and Golo Kante. I'm out.